Hello guys, welcome to Ride VIP, the Ratchet channel. My name is Serge and in today's video, I want to tell you two things. I want to show you how well I'm doing on my $410 uh, bonus guarantee, which is actually not a bonus, but we'll get back to that. Uh, and second of all, I want to show you guys <clears throat> my income, uh, how much I made uh, so far for working Monday. And then I want to show you my uh, fuel expenses. And I'm basically going to uh, talk about like different things. Uh, so you could see that for Monday, I made $260 and 75 cents. I worked 12 hours and 23 minutes. Um, and let's see, just like this weekly bre breakdown. I have also worked on a Sunday right here. I made $150 and I worked for, well, I was online for seven hours and 58 minutes, just book time, six hours and 31 minutes. So over here i was online for 13 hours and 16 minutes while book time is only 10 hours and uh seven minutes this is actually quite more than i thought like how could i be online that long could be could be maybe because of sunday i don't know but anyways the app actually kicked me out yesterday and i went and actually fueled up so out like in a video i'm going to show you guys how much i filled up for but to make uh this amount 260 dollars it cost me 69 dollars with my range rover and to make this uh 150 dollars i made uh i paid 55 dollars for fuel so and i've been fueling exactly that same gas station so what i do is i fuel up that same one i work and then at the end of the day i fuel up at that same one and this is how i'm getting these numbers and I'll, I'll explain like what all this means so uh getting back to my guarantee here which is 410 bucks it's a good thing that it's here because i'm not making that much so possibly they're gonna actually give me some more money which uh you will actually find out that this guarantee is actually not that good but it's just better than nothing you know if there's nothing then there's nothing but um four hundred ten dollars for 36 rides that means i need to sort of like work like a shift and a half right to get it so since i worked uh 12 hours and i only made like uh 217 dollars right let's just take a look at 200 basically i'm just rounding it off so let's take 217 divided by two plus 217 so all i'm gonna make is 325 dollars going at this rate for 36 ride rides 325 so ultimately they will give me additional money 410 let's just do minus 410 so they're gonna give me an additional 84 dollars. so that's a good feeling I, at least i could get some fuel back or or whatever you know for this type of money but then obviously this game is going to be over and i'm going to still continue like this week i'm going to just hit it hard and i'm just going to work a whole week just doing 12 hours per day i haven't done that in a while but i'm wondering if you really put your time in like i used to will you actually make the money so this is what i'm actually doing this week so i'm basically testing it at the same time i'm basically promoting my book um if you guys already um uh seen my book uh, or haven't well take take a look at this this is my book that i have uh published um launching your business if i go to my reports so far 45 of you guys have ordered this book and thank you so much for that um additionally if you would like to get this uh free book you could just tap the qr code on your screen and it's going to take you to that page but i will be providing a link to this book in the description and in uh, the comment section of this video uh obviously you can see the date here uh it's only available for five days only um so this friday it's going to be the last day for you to get a book so thank you guys so much once again this is how much money i have paid for all the work that i did yesterday anyways guys i can't really show you how much uh money i made yesterday but just take my word for it i worked uh for seven hours and 30 minutes on sunday i've made 150 dollars 
for Sunday and I cashed out and I spent $55 on fuel. So technically I have profited um, $95 um, when investing 55. So I knew it was gonna be like right around like $50 that I spent for fuel because I did not really work for a very long time. But typically uh, from all the driving that I do, it cost me $25 to $30 per hour um, to operate. So usually I'm paying around $65 to $75 for fuel, and that's mid-grade uh, for my Range Rover, which is a V8, 15.8 miles per gallon. So hopefully that kind of gives you a little baseline, kind of like what to go off of. Uh, from the next thing I'm getting ready to tell you. So when I was renting a car, it was costing me $70 a day to rent it. And you know, you could use the car for as long as you want, obviously. So yesterday I just worked for seven and a half hours in my car, which is a V8, and it cost me $55 plus, so $55. So that's, that's only for fuel. Uh, something else you gotta take into account the fact that this car is depreciating each time I drive it. This car, car will require more work uh, if it breaks down because I'm always driving it, right? Uh, additionally, I'm paying insurance on it, which is not taken into account. And uh, also potentially you could have a catastrophic, catastrophic failure where, you know, something happens, God forbid. But this is something that does happen to cars from time to time. and. It just will be, let's say, like unfixable or worth more money to fix than, well, cost more money to fix than, than the vehicle's actual worth. While renting, I eliminate all of those costs. Now, renting a Tesla was the only thing that I felt to me that it made sense to rent. I think aside of that, a Prius would have been also something that would be good to rent. Uh, just because, um, uh, well, first I'm going to say about the Tesla. So Tesla rental is $69 including insurance per day to rent, right? So additionally, I have to pay for charging. So if I charge in a daytime, charge one time, and I would charge uh, from, let's say like 20 miles all the way to 265 miles range. Uh, so that, so like each, um, 240 miles would cost me approximately uh, $50 to charge it. That's in the daytime. But the same amount of miles at night only charge it, only costs $5. Now, because I charge at home, that probably costs a couple bucks. So I would leave a home on a full charge and I would have like 265 miles range once I disconnect the Tesla from the charger. And it only takes me six to eight hours to charge it at home like while I'm sleeping. So once I start driving um, the Tesla, then, you know, uh, I would drive, let's say like for 265 miles, I need to charge it one time. Usually by the time I end up charging it, it's midnight. So I would charge it at uh, 10 cents a kilowatt hour, which is, uh, which equates to uh, five dollars sometimes under five dollars to charge it fully so ultimately that Tesla rental would cost me uh, 75 dollars you know uh, that's that's all per day tops tops if I charge it in the daytime um, this is including of course my my home charging tops it would cost me 85 dollars that is taking 70 dollar rental 15 dollar charging per day it would cost me $85. But the Range Rover is costing me anywhere from $55 per day if I do use it, but that is not using it fully like I should, like when it comes to uh, working for for um, Lyft. Um, I would drive it approximately eight hours and that's just being online. So that means there's also a couple hours of commuting, which ultimately means I drove 10 hours, right? So those 10 hours cost me $55 in fuel, according to last night. But if I continued working an additional uh, four hours, I would end up being approximately $75. And I would have made $300 uh, out of the $300 
Um, let me see. I would not make three hundred dollars. Hold on, hold on. I would make about like two fifty according to the current rate. Out of that money, about seventy five would go towards towards fuel. Um, so I would make about like one hundred seventy five dollars after fuel um, for um, using my Range Rover driving for Lyft in twelve hours. So I would make one hundred seventy five dollars clean profit. Now, if I would rent a Tesla and make two hundred and fifty dollars for 12 hours because they're paying so much less now uh just going after that it used to be like 300 per 12 hours but not anymore um so from 250 um let's say minimal it cost me 75 dollars because uh the tesla 70 dollars a day plus five dollar charging so 75 same like a range Rover, 75 75 so basically i would also make uh, one hundred seventy-five dollars uh, profit. So technically, char Tesla rental with charging and Range Rover just fueling for exactly the same amount of hours. The cost is exactly the same. Now a Tesla potentially could cost me slightly more, and that's if I use it in the daytime. So it would just cost me an additional ten dollars more. So instead of seventy-five, like eighty-five. But What's not taken into account uh, with the Range Rover personal car, like I said earlier, is the insurance, is the taxes in the car, is all the maintenance that you have to do to it, and it's uh, any kind of like mechanical breakdowns, and also putting the miles on your vehicle, you're heavily depreciating it. So none of these things are taken into account. So ultimately, renting a vehicle is not so bad. And like I said, the only thing that would be better, of course, than using my Range Rover is owning um, a Prius because a Prius gets what like 55 miles per gallon but something that you're really not thinking about like what about like when it's charged up how long does that last so maybe combined electrical plus fuel uh, with the Prius uh, you're probably like at 80 miles per gallon maybe a hundred miles per gallon that is not bad so that could be very very fuel efficient so like probably one of the best vehicles to use for um for lyft or uber especially especially because you could get them used cheap so i have 58 miles left in my tank so this will complete the full 12 hour shift 12 hours and 30 minutes shift not including additional uh miles driven to my fuel station and going home so let's see how much money it cost me for my shift That's as much as it's going to take. So $69.15. So I spent $69 on fuel, but how much money did I make? As you could see, I made $216. So let's take $216 minus $69. I made $147 in 12 hours so first before we calculate it further so it has cost me 69 dollars to run my own vehicle for 12 hours when if i were to rent a tesla it also cost me 69 dollars as you can see like how everything kind of evens out except with a tesla i don't have to really worry about lots of things like i don't have to worry about anything uh, and I could charge it at home uh, and uh, it probably cost me a couple of dollars and then I charge it additionally five dollars uh, and uh, that is it so now I still need to get home and about I'm about like 35 minutes away from my home um, well yeah about that so that means I will spend an additional I'd say an additional like eight bucks 
probably and fuel so i would have to kind of like add that to the total cost so technically rental cost me 69 well fuel cost me 69 here uh rental charging cost me um about five to seven bucks well from here for me to commute home it cost me about the same so uh, the tesla rental and using my own vehicle is pretty much identical so tell me guys what you think about that hey guys i just worked 12 hours and apparently 12 hours and 23 minutes and i only made 216 dollars and 75 cents working for lyft uh now i started working on a monday now it's tuesday morning uh, I know that seems like very low because I accepted a bunch of trash, but one thing's for sure, there's that goal of 410 uh, that I'm very close to. Apparently just need like 12 rides and I'll actually get that. Um, that would help the averages a little bit. So that also is probably why I'm getting paid a lot less because of that guarantee. Because technically that guarantee doesn't really mean anything because they're controlling the prices with AI anyways. But anyways, the app has kicked me out. And now it's time for me to go home. And I'm way... Well, not that far, but I'm still kind of kind of far to go home. But anyways, guys, that's all for now. Thank you. Bye-bye.